There is a lot of confusion about the term astrology, as for some people it has the connotation of being deterministic, especially if their only exposure to the subject is daily horoscopes or something like that, but for the record, no, that's not the type of astrology that I'm talking about here. There are a few good resources online on the subject, and if you're a reader, I've included some reference books at the end of this video which you might find useful if you're curious and you have an interest. The piece that I'm working on here is called The Hard Master. It's a mixed media digital piece and the concept behind that is really me getting to understand, accept, and hopefully overcome some of the quote unquote malefic influences of Saturn with regards to its placement in my natal chart and transmute some of that Maybe, maybe even all of that led into gold, metaphorically speaking. In astrology, Saturn is known as the planet of restriction and the imposition of limits. It is a sharp contrast to the planet of Jupiter, which is expansive. And for those under Saturn's sphere of influence, it has been described as a difficult taskmaster. But it also has the benefit of bringing order and structure to a person's life. So, for example, in your early life, Saturn's influence would typically appear in the form of authority figures such as parents or teachers, maybe even institutions, and depending on where that planet is sitting at the time of your birth in relation to the astrological signs and the houses, this could be one of the areas in your life where the planet's effects would be the most prominent. As you get older, Saturn still represents how you yourself experience and interact with authority, but it also becomes how you begin to express that energy outwardly. Now, with the energy of Saturn, it's really all about structure, and if you're in the midst of it, it can feel really heavy, intense, slow-moving, oppressive, dark, etc. But there are positive attributes, specifically about learning how to create discipline and order, this planet's energy also has the potential to be healing, and it has a relationship with fertility. Now, my particular placement is that I have Saturn in Leo, which just happens to be my sun sign, so not so much fun. And Saturn also sits in my 12th house. So these are the areas for me that I've had to examine to see how I can use these heavy, intense energies in a constructive way. So, how have I been doing all of this? Well, aside from the analytical process, I've found that the creative aspect of focusing on the attributes of this celestial body and quite literally drawing that energy through artistic symbolism kind of has had a magical effect in working through all of this. And for the record, I'm also doing this with the other placements, planetary-wise, which I may also share at some point. But right now, I feel that this is the journey that I need to be on, so please wish me good luck as I move through this. Thank you for watching this video, which is part one. Stay tuned for part two, and please remember to like and subscribe. And as promised, here are some of the resources that you can look into if you have an interest in astrology. The first is Parker's Astrology by Julia and Derek Parker. Then there's The Only Astrology Book You'll Ever Need by Johanna Martin Woodfolk. And then we have Astrological Transits by April Elliott Kent. My name is Wayne Rodney and I am an artist and the creator of the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot published by US Games Systems. There's a link to the deck which includes a guidebook in the video description. And once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.